Hey folks, picture this. You're using the Runway ML Gen 2 image to video feature, but you're hitting this wall, a four second limit. It's just not enough time for that masterpiece in your mind. But what if I told you there's a way around it? Get ready, because that's exactly what we're doing today. Now, remember our last adventure together, when we voyaged into the realm of Pika Labs, and I created that cinematic short film using the image to video feature? Well, guess what? The technique we're about to dive into today will also work with Pika Labs image to video. So let's jump in and create some magic. In a nutshell, this this is how the workflow will be. First, we will take our initial image, create a video out of it, extract the last still frame from the video then use the last frame for our input of our next video. Combine the two videos and now you will have an 8 second video with the two videos combined. You can repeat the process for as long as you want to keep extending the videos every 4 seconds. So let's get started. First, we need an image to get started. You can use any image you want or any AI image generator you wish. For this video, I will make it as easy as possible for anyone to take advantage of this. Normally, I would use Stable Diffusion on my local PC for this. However, to make things easier, I will use Leonardo.ai. Midjourney will make incredible images. However, Leonardo.ai is completely free. First, I'll skim through their homepage and find an image that I like. Then, I'll click on the Remix button to make a variation of that image. This will work. So let me upscale it. Cool. Next, we will need to download the image. Now that we have our image, we can head over to Runway ML. Click on Generate Videos. Then hit the Text Slash Image to Video button. Now let's take our image that we got from Leonardo.ai and drag and drop it here. Let's leave the prompt section blank and click on Generate. Okay, that's pretty cool, but I'm not really feeling the morph effect. Let me try another generation to see if I can get a better result. Alright, it doesn't want to give me the effect I am going for, so I'll try to type in a prompt to see if I can get closer to what I want to achieve. I'll use... A masked divinity samurai in action and unleashing an attack against enemies with his mystical katana in a grim battle. Let's see if that works. Um, hmm, okay so it seems to have completely ignored the image and just went with the prompt. So keep that in mind when using the image to video feature in Runway ML. You don't want to waste your precious credits and burn them up with these mistakes. I'm going to give this another go and head back to Leonardo.ai and try to generate a better image to feed Runway ML. After hours upon hours, generating images on Leonardo.ai and nearly burning through all of my free daily credits. I decided to just settle for this image. So now I'll upscale it and download it. Now let's go back to Runway ML and delete the prompt. Let's add in a new image. Hit generate and hope for the best. Okay, so it seems luck isn't on my side today. For this video's sake, and of course for my credits on these platforms, I'll just use this video as the demonstration. Now that we have our video, we will need to extract the last frame from the video. To do this, you can either import it into your video editor and extract a still frame. Or for those of you who use a video editor that doesn't have this option, we can use this website here. It's called easygif.com. Click on video to GIF, then click on video to JPG. Drag and drop in your Runway ML video, then click Upload Video. Click on Convert to PNG. Then scroll all the way to the bottom. Save the last PNG file towards the bottom and let's go back to Runway ML. Remove the first image, then drag and drop the image that we extracted from our video. Make sure the prompt is blank and hit Generate. Now that it's done, download the second video and fire up your favorite video editor. Import both the first and second video from Runway ML and this is what we end up with. And that is how you combine the four second videos from Runway ML together to make eight seconds or longer videos. For the hell of it, I'll add some sound effects and try to spice up the video and be creative with what I was given and see if I can improve the quality of this video.
Okay, well there's that. In case you were wondering, I use Envato Elements for sound effects and music. They also have millions of other assets to choose from like video templates, graphic templates, fonts, and so much more. It's my secret weapon when it comes to video editing. What I really love about it is they're always adding new stuff, which is a real game changer in terms of keeping my videos fresh and engaging. And all of the assets come with commercial licenses. On my other channels, before I started using Envato Elements, I would get YouTube strikes, and that is no fun. So if you do want to get your hands on some professional grade assets with unlimited downloads then do check them out. The link will be in the description. Of course, I wasn't satisfied with the results and I still have about 33 seconds left of free credit on Runway ML and I got 150 credits on Leonardo AI. So, I am going to try and make something I'd be satisfied with using the last of my credits. Alright cool, this one wasn't too bad, you can actually see the viking change position. All the other results were decent, however, this is something I'd like to see more of. So in this case, they have a pop up that says help us improve, how are the results? So I'll go ahead and rate this clip. I still have 21 seconds left in runway ml so let's burn up these credits and see what I can get. You know what this one is pretty cool. But I just thought of something. I liked the Viking God of War video earlier, so I'm going to head over to easygif.com and extract the last frame, upload that back into Runway ML and see what I get. Interesting, he shifted to side profile view then switched back to mugshot view and ended up with a double body. I'll combine the two clips together to see how they flow. Okay, well, let's see. I have around 13 seconds left on Runway ML. I'll just keep exporting the last frame of this creation and see what I end up with. Here's a tip. If you have your download tray on the bottom of your browser active, you can drag and drop your file straight from the download tray to save you a little bit of time. This drag and drop trick works on both easygif.com and runway ml image upload button. So download your extracted image from easygif.com, switch your tab back over to runway ml, then drag and drop your still frame from your download tray right into runway ml's image upload button. Well, that's the last of my credits here on Runway ML. I hope this deserves a like and subscribe for me burning up all of my credits on Runway ML to showcase this video for you guys. Anyways, I noticed the slight pause when placing the videos in the timeline side by side, so now I am stacking them up on top of each other overlapping the previous video. This won't make it completely smooth, but it will somewhat remove that slight split second pause. And here are the final results. This clip ended up being around 19 seconds long.
Well, folks, that's a wrap on another AI adventure. We started with a single image and a four-second limit, but through persistence, creativity, and a whole heap of credits, we navigated the depths of Runway ML to extend that limit. We've pushed boundaries, created, recreated, and even faced the fickle AI gods on more than one occasion. But what was the result? A masterpiece? Maybe not. A valuable lesson? Absolutely. We may not always achieve the perfect AI-generated video first time, or even the second or third, but the magic isn't just in the final product. It's in the journey, the problem solving, and the creativity that this process ignites. Remember, if you're up against an AI wall, don't give up. Rethink, rework, and remember, every creation is an opportunity to learn and grow. Whether it's perfect or flawed, every AI endeavor is a stepping stone on the path to mastery. I've burned through my credits for today's venture, but I'm already excited to see where our next expedition will take us. Thank you for sticking with me through this journey. And remember, no masterpiece was ever created without a few creative detours. Until next time, keep experimenting, keep learning, and above all, keep creating magic. This is AI Controversy, signing off for now.